we're here today to talk about how plants absorb water. Um, I started the experiment a few days ago so I can show you the effects because it takes a couple days to see the effects, but I'm going to tell you how, what you need to do it. First, you need a glass with some water in it, some food coloring, some white carnations, and some celery. The celery needs to have the green leafy part on the top, that part we need. So, and we want to use the, the celery that's on the inside. The lightest color celery will show you the best results. So I'm going to use this piece and this piece. And the first thing you need to do is just chop the bottom off. But you might need a little help from your mom or dad to cut the bottoms off like that so that they can absorb the most water possible. Next, pick out some colors. Hmm, I think I'll do some green. And let's put some green drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's do some blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do some yellow. Yep, there's the yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm looking at my results and I see that the blue one works really well. So I'm gonna do two blues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to put our celery that we just cut into these cups, stir it up. Put this one in the blue one, stir them up. Then I'm going to do a couple of carnations. I'm going to chop the bottom off of our carnation too, just because a fresh cut will work the best. Put those in that one in the yellow, and we'll put this one in the blue. Now, you wait. It usually, you can see a little bit of a change in three hours, but you'll see the most change in like three days. But this is what happens after two days. I'm gonna show you the blue one, the blue celery, cause that one you could see best. Can you see the blue on there? And look, if you turn the celery stalk around, you can see where all the blue water was absorbed and it goes right down the stalk. See that? And on the leaves too, there's some blue. See at the very tippy top? So that means that water traveled all the way up the celery stalk to the leaves. Now let's look at the carnation. Let's see, let's see. Let's look at the blue carnation and I'll show you some yellow too. This part, you can't see how it traveled very easily, but you can see how my white flower has blue on it now, which means that water was absorbed all the way up to the tippity top in the white flower and turned our flower blue. Let's see if we can see the yellow one. Let's see, look at this one, it's turning very yellow. Can you see that? So the water absorbed through the stem and it travels up the stem, through the leaves, all the way up to the flower at the top. Let's see, let's look at a different color and see what happens. Let's see what happened with the green one. You can't really see the top of the green looking any more green, but you can see the bottom can you see the bottom and how it traveled up the green stem of the celery to the celery stalk? Let's look at the yellow one too. Let's see. Let's look under. Well, the yellow's hard to see, but you can definitely see it traveling up the stalk. See that? And you can see it in the leaves. See it in the celery leaves? This is a fun experiment to see how water is absorbed in plants. Thank you very much.